What's up, peeps? It's your girl, Queen L. Eats. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And this is... Tweezy Flex. And today, y'all, I got some slow-cooked beef ribs, beef barbecue ribs, and some baked beans. And I made Tweezy a hamburger steak with gravy, rice, and baked beans as well. His steak is lean as it can be. The 97% fat-free. 97% fat-free. So, you see him chewing a little bit more than you normally would. <laughs> It's, it's 97, what did you say, 97? 97 or 96. It's, it's up it's, there it's with, up with being it's the lean. Leanest, it's the leanest beef you can get. All right, so we're going to say our prayer and get it in. Heavenly Father, bless over this food. Let it be nourishment to our bodies. Bless over the hands that prepared it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? What's going on, everybody? We hope good. All right. Man, I'm ready to dive in. Oh, but listen, go ahead and like this video. Mm -hmm. If you ain't subscribed, it just popped up on you. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That's right. And go ahead and subscribe to our Q and T T V yes. channel. Q and T T V. Q and T T V. All right, y'all. It's time to dive in. Y'all want a piece? Go ahead on and bite that rib. I'm like them ribs are busting though. Go ahead on and bite it. I done had it in the um, crock pot for about six hours. Hmm. Falling off the bone. This is so good. Mm mm mm. This is really good. I used a little bit of vegan butter mm. to make his gravy. And instead of using regular milk, I used almond milk. So I had to make sure I seasoned it good so you wouldn't taste the almond. I love this. Was this the, the original almond or the vanilla? That's the original. Okay. I don't, I wouldn't cook with the vanilla. <laughs> unless I'm cooking something sweet. This is good. Thank you. Now we've been hit with a cold front down here in the south. Mm-hmm. Then it started um, raining, a little cold. Listen, the cold be cool, but when it's raining with the cold, mm. you don't want to go nowhere. That it, bone ain't going nowhere. Go ahead and let it stay right there. I know, right? Yeah. They falling off the bone, y'all. Honey, I went into that deep freezer today. What you find? It was like I struck gold. Mm, gold in your own house. Yeah, I was like, I'm not going to no grocery store. I'm not leaving this house. It's raining. So I said, let me see what I got in this deep freezer. Because it was this morning. I said, I'm going to go ahead and take something out. I ran across these ribs at the very, very bottom. Hmm. I said, look at that. <laughs> and a pack of that lean meat was down there. The last time she looked in the deep freezer, she found them oxtails we ate. Mm-hmm. See, the thing is, you forget about it. Mm -hmm. And then you buy on top of it to cook right then. And it's just sitting in there. I don't have fat right now. You know, what we have, like, we go to the grocery store, we buy multiple meats, mainly chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Mm -hmm. Almost everybody eat chicken, chicken, chicken. So it'll be some chicken, some hamburgers, whatever. And then you would grab a pack of ribs. Uh, you would grab a pack of oxtails, but when you come home, you really want to cook it. You're just going to cook the chicken or you're going to cook the hamburger. Go ahead and eat, feed the kids. Now, that type of stuff gets thrown in the deep freezer. Mm -hmm. You said I'm going to wait to a special occasion. Wait for a special occasion or whatever. Oh, I'm going to cook that Sunday. Cook the Sunday, then end up not getting pulled out. You end up buying more food from the grocery store. Oh, Sunday you end up saying, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go you, eat. Yeah, then you see oxtails again. Then you grab another pack of oxtails. Now, then you grab another pack of ribs. And next thing you know, you got a few packs of them stuff. Show them. Chilling. Mm-hmm. Because you ain't ready to cook them. Because they froze. <laughs> you like, I'm not ready to sit up there and wait on it to unthaw. But these ribs, I put them in the, in the, um, I seasoned them frozen. And I put them in the, um, crock pot on high. 
Oh, I got some on my teeth. <laughs> they were frozen. I was, I was not about to wait till they finished on thawing. <laughs> it was around like 12.30. And so I said, you know what? I'm ready to put them things in the crock pot. Put them in the crock pot, season them up, and cook them on high all the way up until about, I'd say about 5.45. Mm. I um, poured the water out, because you know it makes its own water. Poured the water out, and I seen that it was tender then. Put my barbecue sauce on it and put, put it on low. I'm glad you had some sauce this time. One time you cooked something and you had no barbecue sauce. I was so upset. I can't remember what it was. It might have been some ribs. I ain't never worse than that for me. <laughs> no, you had to take a barbecue chicken. Mm hmm. You used to put barbecue sauce on the chicken. And all we had was that sugar free barbecue sauce I had. And I was like, yeah. Look, all we got. I said, that's all for you. <laughs> that's the, I got hot and spicy. Um, that red brand. The brand we always get. But it's a sugar free one. Honey, honey. Honey something. I'm talking about the, Brown the, sugar. The company, though. Oh, What's um, the name of the company? Oh, oh my goodness. If you hadn't asked me, I would have known. I know. But anyway, we got that company. Um... Then I bought some. Uh, oh, that's fat. Doctor. Man, he got a black man from the terrible name. Oh. <laughs> you ready to go look? Yeah, yeah. Okay. G Hughes. G Hughes. That's the brand I be buying, the sugar free brands, and then the Sweet Baby Rays. Sweet Baby Rays is what we use. These are vegetarian beans, vegetarian baked beans. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Fall, fell off bone. Whole bone came off. Put the bone out. <laughs> These ribs slamming. Slamming. They did real good. They did, I can tell. Mm. They burning the food out my hand, though. <laughs> You know, stir out the crock pot. Mm. I'm just so glad we got a deep freezer. We done had it for a long time. We just been needed it. Mm-hmm. What's the first thing you ever cooked in a crock pot? Do you remember? Chuck roast. And it was so good. After that chuck roast, I said, oh my gosh. <laughs> this meat just falling here and there and everywhere. I had my potatoes and carrots. <clears throat> that gravy. It was so good, y'all. I said, you know what? That's hot. That's a good way to cook. <laughs> I was like, I didn't do nothing like, and it just had the whole house smelling good. I remember I cooked the chuck roast frozen. One morning it was frozen, just like I did them ribs. And I said, golly, I got to go to work, but I want something when I get off. I threw that big old frozen chuck roast in it, put that garlic powder, onion powder. I put my seasoning salt on it, closed it up. And I knew I was gonna work Excuse me, at that particular time, 10 hours. So I said, I'm gonna put it on low. So from that morning to that evening, by the time I got home, it was right. I wasn't gonna put it on high, cause you oh, know, yeah. that high, it was, just, it was just gonna be too much for it. So mm -hmm. it needed to low, be on low. I put these ribs on high because I needed them to go ahead on and get ready, cause 12.30, <laughs> I was gonna be ready to eat around this time. 
So I put it on high and then once they got ready, I poured the water off, put the barbecue sauce and put them on low. So that's how I did that. These ribs are so good. I hear an ambulance. This in yeah. or the fire department. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's talk about mental health a little bit. The TikToker, um, and Ellen DeGeneres' DJ. What was his now, name? Is he best known for the Ellen Show or TikTok? I think the I Ellen think Show. Ellen Show. So DJ Twitch from Twitch. the Ellen Show, and he also does TikTok. He seemed so happy. His his whole family doing TikToks with him. They had it he seemed like he was, you know, having the ball. But he took his own life. And I hate to hear that. I hate to hear that for anybody. Um, all of us have bad days, but it's what you do with that bad day that matters. Um if your day going that bad, honey, go to sleep. That's all I can. That's all I can think of is just take a nap. If it's really bad, just go and take a nap, go to sleep, and then wake up the next day and try again. Because it's just a day. That's the thing. That's not uh, your life. People. People who has that battle, that real battle with suicidal thoughts. It's a fight every day. It's a fight every single day. Once you can actually hit hit that part of your life where you actually can see it. Because you got some people who just talk, but they really ain't going to do it. But people who actually get in that mental space, from what I've heard, it's literally a fight every single day. And you just get to the point where done fighting and they self transition themselves and I really be hating to hear that I really be hating to hear that you sad if you feel like that please get help you are needed here on this earth you wasn't born for no reason okay it was a reason why you were here don't think for one second you here just taking up space Cause you're not you got a purpose and you need to pray about it and see what your purpose is if you're not sure what it is but you got one who it's kind of it's kind of rough to keep talking about it because it kind of make me get a little choked up so i'm gonna end the video on a good note what's the good note you married to me oh yes that's the best note. <laughs> Make me want to sing to you. And his breast is coming off soon. Who? Yeah, yeah. We in a competition. Barley is not soon, like next week soon, but in a couple it's, months. It's a few months. So he ain't got to wait to October. <sighs> yeah, and I, I think I'm. He said you I'm right on track. Yeah, you right on time with your schedule. I was scared you to have mine longer than her. October. But now the like I'm gonna be done at the same time. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Sorry. I asked him, I said, you sure you don't, you don't think I'm supposed to be coming off a little earlier? He was like, <laughs> <laughs> he said, you ain't been doing right. What you mean I ain't been doing right? You ain't been wearing them rubber, rubber bands. bands. That'd be the key to these braces. He always, rubber bands, rubber bands. Because rubber bands, you position in your mouth, you, like when the way he got the rubber bands, it's a pulling. Mm -hmm. And so when I wear the rubber bands, it feels like my teeth are about to fall so out. She, you got two different... I got a square on this side and a triangle on this side. And so my teeth hurt. Like, and it feel like they loose, and, but it's it's fixing my bite. Yeah. You know how when you bite down, if you look in the mirror at yourself and you bite straight down, it will tell you, you know, where you would need rubber bands. The orthodontist would be able to tell yeah. you where you would need rubber bands in order to fix it to where it comes straight down. Some people have an overbite. Some people have an underbite. But the purpose is for the bite to be straight when it comes down. So right now, mine ain't all the way straight when it comes down. So he got a, a, a 
four teeth on this side and three teeth on this side. I'm like, what in the world you got going on, sir? Mine's about on the money. That's what he said. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we want to let y'all know. It's people that care about y'all. We care about y'all. We want y'all to succeed. We want y'all to keep striving, doing the best you can. Take care of yourself. Take care of your kids. Take care of your loved ones. You are wanted. You are needed. Okay? All right, y'all. Have a wonderful, safe, blessed day on purpose. Subscribe to the Q&T TV channel. Subscribe to the Queen L.E.'s channel. Okay? All right. Peace out.